All right, welcome everybody to another BDA boxing film analysis. This is your host, Mr. BDA. I'm glad that everybody could be on board for this one. That's right, everybody, because we got a great fight coming up on May the 4th between Canelo Alvarez and Daniel Jacobs. It's going to be an interesting fight. Two top five middleweights taking on each other, both in their primes. Canelo, really, a lot of people are afraid of the guy now based on the fact that he was able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against Golovkin. And then I guess Rocky Fielding, you know, he walked him down, which is something we haven't really seen from Canelo all that much, you know, walking people down, staying there, being active. So a lot of people see him as a scary guy now, as a boogeyman. Dale Jacobs, for his part, has really come into his own as a fighter. Uh, he has good wins over Devryachenko, Suleki, you know, both undefeated. He also took Luis Arias undefeated record, went 12 rounds with Gennady Golovkin, the first guy to ever do so, and gave him a very good fight. He's got wins over Peter Quillen, another undefeated guy. Caleb Truax, you know, he, he stopped him. So, really, Daniel Jacobs has built himself a nice little profile, and uh, he's about as ready as ever, he's, he's ever going to get for Canelo Alvarez. Uh, he's got great defense, counter punching, power, speed, reflexes. He's really the complete total package now. So, if he's ready for Canelo Alvarez, it's now. And uh, we're going to take a look at what makes him a difficult opponent for anybody. Uh, we're talking counter punching. We're talking his overhand rights, which might prove to be lethal against Canelo Alvarez. He's got good body punching and transitions very well from defense to offense. So let's take a look at that without further ado. All right, so this is a couple of clips from the Suleki fight. And here you have Jacobs doing what he does best in terms of defense, rolling with the shot. See that? So he puts himself in position to counter with power based on the fact that he's switching uh, his weight from one leg to the other so he has the power to come back there he didn't come back but here as you're gonna see more defense dips down from the right puts himself in an inside position and counters with a left hook and then he goes to the body he's got some whipping power it's not Canelo Alvarez type power it's definitely not Gennady Golovkin type stiff punches but more like whipping shots they do the, 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 the work, they get the work done, they get some damage in there because he did the same thing he did there, as we're going to see here, against Gennady Golovkin and he was able to back Golovkin up too with those shots. Really one of the first people to, to back Golovkin up consistently out of the inside. So those body punches evidently hurt and if he can do that against Canelo, you know, there's a, big, there's a question about whether he wants to be on the inside against Canelo. He's going to find himself in there at some points in the fight. So if he's already going to be inside, why not go to the body with those whipping shots? See, you see him watching, watching, and then countering, and then he switches stances. To, all right, so let's look at that in slow motion. So first of all, he use, not only does he have good head movement, he can parry shots with his gloves. See, as you see there, he's just staying, you know, staying calm, keeping his eyes on Suleki, changing levels, hands up, catches the jab there. He's, look at him watching. He rolls with the right, he rolls to his left, which is something he always does. He did that often in this fight, and I guess Golovkin too. And he switches his power and goes with a left hook. He wanted to double up and go with an uppercut there. And then he, see, he switches stances in the middle of the exchange. Comes forward with a left, There's, there he switches his stance, and now he keeps coming forward. Nice jab, steps back. Creates some distance. Counter's not there for Suleki. Here he parries the jab. Jabs back. Dips down again. Rolls, rolls. I mean, look at this. And he counters too. So he parries the jab right there. All right. Jabs back, which is what you're supposed to do after you catch a jab. So he jabs. And again, he dips down as we saw before. Dips down with the right. So he misses. Steps back up. Rolls with the left a little bit. He caught it a little bit in the temple. There could be dangerous against Canelo. He's always watching. Dips that again to the left. I shouldn't say dip. He dodges the right hand to his left. Now you see his left, his right foot up. He wants to counter with something. And look at this. He's down there, and Suleki throws a right, and always throws a punch after it, as any good fighter is supposed to do. But he throws a left uppercut. Jacobs catches it with his elbow, so he's very conscious of what's coming back at all times. Rolls with the right, almost got caught there, but he was able to roll. You see Suleki thinks the right hand is coming, the right counter, so he steps in there close, puts his hands up. Jacobs, though, didn't counter, but instead counters with a left uppercut, and he steps back. You see, now he switches his weight on the right leg. So he steps back on it, whoosh, 
almost got caught. But that's what I'm talking about when I talk about reflexes. 45 year old guy can't do that. Jacob scan, he resets right there. Here I'm just showing you how lead right hand weaves under the counter left, catches some other loose shots there, stays conscious, watches everything that Tuleki threw. He knows it's ends with the right hand and he comes back with a nice whipping left hook on the temple. Again, this is what I'm talking about with Jacobs. Those whipping shots, they, they look like you know arm punch. I mean, not arm punches, but he, they look like slapping shots, but he's he can whack with those shots. Now, the other thing I have to point out here is that he's fighting Suleki, who's not a big puncher, so it's easier for him to stay in the pocket a little bit more and stay more relaxed. It's going to be interesting to see if he can do it against Canelo, who not only is heavier handed than Suleki, but like Suleki, he likes to throw punches from all angles. Actually, he's better at it than Suleki. He's just an overall Canelo, overall better fighter than Suleki. But uh, some of the things that Canelo does, Suleki does here as well. And we're going to take a look at that later on. A little of some of the weaknesses from Jacobs. There you see him countering to the body. He goes with a right hand on the inside. And then, you know, the old move. little right hand just to distract downstairs and goes upstairs with it. And again, sort of like a slapping, clubbing shot. I'm, I'm wondering if he's if, if he does find himself on the inside against Canelo. Maybe those little shots in there are going to piss Canelo off. Because Canelo is not the most active fighter on the inside. So maybe Jacobs can take advantage of that. Here we just see more of Jacobs' reflexes. Rolling with the shots, rolling with the shots. All right, now here we see the, the problem with, uh, with Jacobs a little bit. Right hand, I mean, his hands can tend to be a little bit low when he's on the outside. He He's relying on those reflexes. So... Here Suleki dips down and at this point Jacobs didn't know whether <clears throat> the right hand was coming or whether it was a lead left hook upstairs. Turns out it's a lead left hook downstairs. Jacobs leans back. Look, he's, he's already expecting the right hand but he's leaning back too far out. He can't counter from this position and he doesn't see the right hand coming too you know, quickly enough so he ends up boom, catching it. And you see how he it moves him. See how he, he gets swept up off his feet a little bit there? That's Suleki hitting him. What happens if J if Canelo hits him? Now, the good thing for Jacobs is he's already been in there against Golovkin. You know, he took Golovkin's punches, got hurt twice. You know, he got dropped once and then hurt with an uppercut later in the fight. But he was able to take it, recuperate, and, and, and gave Golovkin some trouble down the line in the last couple of rounds. But Canelo, although he's not as heavy a puncher as Golovkin, does have faster hands than Golovkin. So it's a, it's a completely different style is what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, let's look at that again in slow motion. Ooh. Keep those hands up, Jacobs. Again, there you see him jabbing too close to inside, misjudging the distance a little bit. I mean, this type of things happens. You know, nobody can be perfect in the fight. But he drops his hands, or his left hand rather, and catches a right hand. Again, not a big puncher from Suleki, but... Now here you see that he parries a jab. He's watching. See, he's watching. He, he sees Suleki's jab, so he wants to counter over it. So he dips to his right. And he comes back with a right of his own. But look at that left hand way too low coming in with his chin there he catches a bit of a, of a left hand there he catches Suleki with the right hand but Suleki takes it and counters with a right of his own right on the chin again see how it moved and stunned Jacobs a little bit but uh, Suleki not a big puncher and here you see Suleki great job by Suleki by the way of stepping in and not overstepping see those little steps he's taking that 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 boom right hand raises Jacobs but again that fucking uh, left hand low I'm sorry for cursing by the way I'm trying not to curse so much but I am what I am and here you see Jacob stepping in he's stepping to his right but again left right hand a bit too low and he catches that left hook flush on the kisser look at that now to his credit he's able to roll right away with the right and then rolls again to the left I mean, he, he rolled to the left, I should have said. Right, so, yeah, those are the some of the things that he's going to have to watch out for, uh, Jacobs. But then again, Canelo has a lot to watch out for. Jacobs has a good feints. He attacks from all angles. He rolls with the shots, goes to the body. Uh, you don't know where he, when he's scattering or where he's scattering from. So it's going to be a very interesting fight to watch. The winner of this fight might take on Andrade, might take on Golovkin. I mean, there's plenty of fights to be made. Billy Joe Saunders, plenty of fights to be made. It's a good time to be a boxing fan and a, and a fan of the middleweight division. So you tell us, guys, do you think Jacobs has what it takes in terms of skills and physicality to beat 
J uh, Canelo, who at 28 is in his prime as well. Tell us what we got right, what we got wrong. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe to BDA Live and BDA, our mother channel. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page and our PayPal page. And we'll see you on the next one, folks. Take care. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh